got that right there. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Woo, we are so grateful to our Friendship Baptist Church family. God bless you. A few of them have joined us in the sanctuary today. We thank God for them. To all of our FBC family out there, God bless you. God bless you. Are you still holding on? Yes, we are. To our live stream family, God bless you. We just thank God for you tuning in today. On this fourth Sunday, we thank God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have some of our elders here with us today. We are so honored to have our elders here to bless us this morning. God is keeping them. God is blessing them. We thank God for the miracles that he has presented in their lives. They're going to be sharing uh, today. Uh, our father in, in the ministry, uh, Elder Luther Bussey, and uh, our mother, mother, Mother Deborah Bussey, who's overseer of our intercessory ministry. She's going to be praying for us today. We just thank God for all of you, and we thank God for you. Hallelujah. We want to say happy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, praising God for all of our soldiers, all of our warriors, all of our military men, all of our fallen soldiers, those who are in heaven watching down over us. We want to thank God uh, to your families today. We want to thank God for their service. We just give God praise for this Memorial Day weekend. But we thank God for another opportunity to come into your private places, to come into your homes Hallelujah, your cars, hallelujah, and worship God with you. We're coming to you live right here from the sanctuary at Friendship Baptist Church right here in Appling, Georgia. Oh, where the feast of the Lord is going on. Call a friend, call a neighbor, tell them to tune in, log in. Hallelujah. God has a word for you today. This worship experience is going to be a blessing to you, and we just thank God for your presence with us today. Hallelujah. Be blessed by our music ministry. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. Come on, say it. Our God is awesome. He can move mountains. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. You know God is awesome. God is awesome. Heals me Heals when I'm broken. When I'm broken. Mm. Strength, Strength when I've been weak. Praise his holy name. He'll reign. He'll reign. Come on, wave your hand and say, Our oh, God is awesome. God is awesome. He, can move he can move mountains. <laughs> you keep us in the valley. In yes, he will. Valley. Hide us from the rain. I got a witness right there. Our God is awesome. God is awesome. Heals me when Heals I'm broken. When I'm Strength where I've been weak. Forever he will reign. Come on, y'all know it. Yeah. Our God is awesome. Salvation. salvation by his stripes his I'm healed. Stripes I'm Wave your hand if you know God is awesome. God is awesome. Today, I am, Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. <laughs> Praise his holy name.
Jesus God. Hallelujah. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You show your strength because you're mighty. You're mighty. You're mighty God. Yes, you are. Help us praise his name. Somebody help us just praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he's been awesome in your life, just give him a praise. Just give him a wave, Craig. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he made ways out of no ways for you. Hallelujah. Uh, if he paid bills when you needed money to pay bills, just Hallelujah! He's a provider! Hallelujah. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Come on. If he's been open in your life, just give him a hand wave. Hallelujah. He, Thank you, Lord. He is an awesome God. He has been awesome to our elders. Man, we're just grateful here. God has blessed our elders. No one has, has contracted the virus. They are still strong. Hi, yay, me. They are still strong and healthy and mighty. And, uh, and we wanted to bring them to come and share with us this morning. Hallelujah. Pop Bussy, we call him Pop Bussy. Amen. He's an awesome man of God. Just a spiritual father for us here at Friendship. And Mother Bussy, who is overseer of our intercessory prayer ministry, uh, Deaconess. We just thank God for keeping both of them and blessing them and blessing their families and they got a miracle this week we heard about it oh hallelujah god is a good god so we're going to bring dad up now uh to do our scripture and then mother buzz is going to lead us in prayer say amen as he comes Good morning. Good morning, church. I'm glad to be here in the house of the Lord again. Uh, I had chosen the scripture Jeremiah 46 28, but I had some technical difficulties this morning. But the scripture that comes to mind is God said, Fear not. For lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the earth. Since our last meeting, I haven't, haven't had a mask. I haven't had any gloves. I've been in and out of my house daily, in and out the stores daily, because I'm walking in faith 
that God is going to keep me till the end. The coronavirus has no Hallelujah. hold on me because of the fact that I'm walking by faith that he said, fear not. He gave no stipulations of anything that you were supposed to fear, but God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear God and you walk with God, he will take care of you. If he calls your number for this coronavirus, it's not because of the virus, it's because he called the number. And as long as you fear that, you can't operate in the faith that God wants you to be in. So I come this morning to tell you that God's word is true. And if you're a believer of faith, you have to walk by that faith and present it before the public. You can't hide because it doesn't make any difference what you do to stop it. If God says so, it happens. If God doesn't say so, it's not going to happen. But sooner or later, we're going to come to an end that he's called us for. So as you walk amongst the people, amongst this virus, fear not, for lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the earth. Well, we thank you. We just want to thank our Father God for all that he has done, for all that he's doing, and for all that is to come. For we know he is God of all, of everything, and we give him praise. Father, we thank you this morning, Lord God. We thank you for keeping us, Lord God, for wrapping your arms around us, Lord God, for interceding on our behalf, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you, God. You're all-knowing, all-seeing, and all-powerful. And we trust in that, God. We love you. We love you more than words can say. And we just thank you once again for being, as the song said, you are El Elyon. You are the most high God. Nothing comes before you. Not cancer, not corona. <laughs> the devil is a lie. And I want you to stand on his word. We just thank you again, God, for keeping us, keeping our families. Lord God, we just thank you for keeping our homes and keeping our jobs, Lord God. We just thank you for all those mighty things, Lord God, for our health, for protecting us. We give you all glory and all praise because you are a mighty God. We are an awesome God. You are a loving God, a gentle God. Oh, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you with everything that we have. And help us, Lord God, to recognize when something comes upon us, Lord God, to recognize, and we have the authority to speak to those things and call them that be not though they were. For you said that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And we stand on that word, Lord God. You said that no plague will come nigh us, Lord God. And we stand on that word, Lord God. And we thank you for your word, for your word has so much power. And we give you glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God was good to you this past week. Just give him a wave, praise. Hallelujah. If God been everything to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, if he been food on your table this week, clothes on your back. Roof over your head. I just want to give you a few minutes to give him worship and give him praise. Hallelujah. Say yeah. everything. Just honor that. Everything. Everything to me.
Come on, if you're here this morning, that means he's giving you life. Can you just thank him for life this morning? Life and breath. Life and breath. Everything. to get with it to them, but God be your father, father, hallelujah, savior, savior, this is where I like to call it, come on, have a call it, Jesus, 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 hallelujah, Jesus, Say Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. Hey. Wave your hand if God has been your healer. Healer. Anybody been on your sick bed in God? Healer. Healer. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm a healer. Healer. Anybody ever needed something from God? Provider. before the king we give God praise hallelujah we're just so grateful for how he has blessed our elders you see while we are so blessed here at friendship to help powerful elders who bring great wisdom to our 
family. We just thank God for Elder Bussy and my Bussy for coming and sharing with us this morning. We thank God for members of our family who are here in the house uh, with us. One of our leaders, Deacon Joey Wright, is here. Amen. Amen. It's giving time. Hallelujah. 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 Family, God bless you. We're just so grateful that we have an opportunity to sow into the lives of people. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God that we're able to sow into the kingdom of God. And we're able to use those seeds to be a blessing to people in need. Hallelujah. Family, we want to thank you for sharing and sowing your tithe and your offering and allowing us to do that, to be a blessing. Hallelujah. We're just so grateful how God has yet provided for us throughout this pandemic. Hallelujah. This season of pestilence. God has yet provided for us. Hallelujah. Come on, go to our website, download the Giblify app. Hallelujah. You can give that way. Uh, download the app. Go to Friendship Baptist Church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Download the app. And so your tithe and your offering. God bless you. Family members here in the house are so in their tithe. We praise God for them as well. You can mail in your seed. Hallelujah. To a safe, secure uh, post office box. Friendship Baptist Church. Post Office Box 2773, Evans, Georgia, 30809. You see it right there on your screen. You can mail it in. Hallelujah. We just thank God for you, for your faithfulness through this family. We're about 90 days into this thing now, and God is yet blessing us. Ah, yes, God. God is keeping us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our people are standing up. And being faithful as God would have it. Thank you. Come on. Get your seed in your hand. Father, we thank you. We bless you for every seed. Hallelujah, God. Even our live stream family that's so into the kingdom of God. We thank you, God, for every man, every woman, every boy and every girl. Hallelujah. Saved and unsaved, God. That's so in, into the kingdom of God to be a blessing to our first responders to be a blessing to our lawyers, our law enforcement, God, our workers, uh, our essential workers, God, we are, we're sowing into their lives, to our graduates, God. Again, we're grateful, God, for the class of 2020. Hallelujah, God. We're going to celebrate them throughout the month of June. We just thank you, God. We pray that you open doors for them, God. Make ways for them, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank you, God, for every seed. Every seed. Aye, aye. Thank you, Lord, for every seed that's being sown in your name. We give you praise for that. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, family. Come on, sow your seed. We'll give you a few minutes to do that. Be blessed by our music ministry. Then we're coming right back with a powerful word from the Lord. God bless you. You are my strength, my strength like no other, my strength like no other, reach to me. You
like no other. Oh, it reaches to me. God, you are my strength. You're all of my strength, and you're like no other. Oh, you're like no other. Just lift your hand. Oh, come on. Just give God away. Praise for being your strength. Hallelujah. 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 He is our strength. Hallelujah. Again, we want to thank God for you sharing uh, with us today. Praise God via our live stream to our LBC family. Thank God for you. We're yet praying for you. Hold on just a little while longer. Oh, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, yes. Again, we want to thank God for our elders, for our leaders, for our members who are sharing in with us this morning. We're going to the Word of God. It's just amazing how God has us on one accord with our elders, the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. I thought Daddy was going to preach this Word today. Amen. Amen. But I thank God for the confirmation. Hallelujah. From the book of 2 Timothy. Hallelujah. Chapter 1. Verse number 7. Oh, daddy was on it. He and mom. Thank God for him. Thank God for that prayer and that word today. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy chapter 1. Verse 7. The word of the Lord says, hear this family, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of 
of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. I want that. I want to read that again. I want that to resonate in your spirit now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. That's what I wanted to talk about today, Daddy. Faith over fear. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Family, I need you to say something with me. I need you to say this. I will not fear. Come on and say it. Say it with me. I will not fear. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning for another opportunity to share with your children, with your people, with your world. God, we thank you for the ayah, for the ability for your word to go out all over the world. Hallelujah. You said before your return, before the end of time, that the word of God would be heard all over the world. God, we're witnessing that now. Yes. Yes, we're seeing your word being manifest all over the world, God. And it is blessed and is, is anointed. And we thank you for the power and the revelation of your word. Bless it again in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, shout it again. I will not fear. Come on, shout it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Family, we are being tested now. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah. It's testing time. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's difficult for us to wrap our minds around that fact that God tests us. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's hard for us to come to grips with that because for us, in our minds, why would God need? To test us. Hallelujah. But I need for you to know today that we are being tested. Yes, we are. The body of Christ is being tested. And I need for you to declare that I will not fear. Oh, come on, open your mouth and say it again with me. I will not fear fear hallelujah see the spirit of fear originated with a spirit called satan yes satan is the author of fear and i contend that his greatest weapon the greatest weapon that the enemy uses against the people of god is fear oh yes Satan has no power. He has no real power to hurt the child of God. But what he does is he causes fear to rise up in our spirit and dominate our hearts. And the reason why the enemy has chosen this strategy is because Satan knows that there is one thing that pleases God, his faith. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan knows that there's the one thing that pleases God the most is faith. And the only way that the only thing that can stop faith in its tracks is fear. Every single day of our lives, we are engaged in this battle, faith versus fear. Hallelujah. I need you to say it with me again. I will not fear come on and say it again i will not fear hallelujah see the enemy cannot touch you unless god allows him to so the only power that he has over you is the power that you give him he uses situations and circumstances to draw us to a place of fear Fear and doubts destroy our faith. And without faith, Hebrews 11, 6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please our God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me, family. It's critical. It's critical right about here during this pandemic, this coronavirus. This enemy is using this pestilence to raise the level of fear to unprecedented levels in our world. Oh, I'm telling you, people are afraid to leave their homes. They are afraid to go outside. People are afraid to congregate among other people. People are afraid to go to the grocery store. People are afraid to go to school. People are afraid to go to church. People are afraid to go to the doctor. People are afraid if they don't go to the doctor. People are afraid to get tested. People are afraid if they can't get tested. The church, the church, the children of God, God is is said to us, it's now time for us to stand up and face our fear. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 It's testing time. Yeah. Ah, yeah, but yes, it is. And there has been a line drawn in the sand. Hallelujah. And it's faith versus fear. Thank you, Lord. Now, on this battleground in your life, which one is going to win? Hallelujah. Come on, declare it again. I will not fear. Come on, declare it again. I will not fear. Hallelujah. I love this text here in this text here uh, in the first chapter of Paul's second letter to Timothy. Uh, Timothy has been called to a, a, a ministry of work. And Paul, his mentor, is giving him some advice on how to be successful and how to win and how to walk progressively in his calling. And as Paul here was writing to, to, to his mentee, Timothy, I believe that God was speaking, hallelujah, to the body of believers. Hallelujah. Paul said to Timothy, he said, uh, he said, Some, I'm excited. I'm excited that God has chosen you to do this work in ministry. He said, I'm just excited because I see, I, I, I see the faith that's in you. Oh, he said, when I laid my hands on you, son, I saw that God had put something on the inside of you. God had put a strong faith in you. He said, I saw that same faith in your grandmama, Lois. Oh, yes, I did. Paul said, I saw that faith in Eunice, your mother, and I see that same kind of faith in you. And he said to Timothy, he said, right now, God is calling you to stir up that gift in you stir up that gift of faith. He was telling him that young man, the things that you're about to face in your ministry, God is going to need you to be strong and be faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he tells him to stir up that gift. Stir up that gift. People of God, the Holy Spirit has instructed me to tell us this morning in the midst of this strange and unprecedented adversary that we are facing now that God desires for our faith to be stirred up to the point where our faith will win out over our fear. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul gives, gives us three pieces of powerful counsel here to help us build our faith and to win this battle against fear. First thing Paul says, Paul says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Listen, family, when you find yourself living in fear, recognize where it comes from. Hallelujah. 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 It did not come from God. Hallelujah. Fear is a spirit from the enemy. It's a spirit that comes from the devil. Call it what it is. Be clear about the fact that the enemy is trying to cause you to doubt the power of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just think back over your life. Think about how many times. God had brought you out. Oh, think about how he healed your body. Oh, as daddy testified this morning, think about how he's healed your mind. Think about the ways that he's made. Think about the doors that he's opened. And listen, if God did it before, he can do it again. 
Hallelujah. 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 God, 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 God never wants us to forget where he has brought us from. And the reason why he always wants us to bring that to our remembrance is because when we come up against the same type of situations and circumstances, we will know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above more than we could ever even ask or think. God is able. Somebody shout, God is able. God is Hallelujah. God is able. God is able. God is able. God is able. And what we have to do is stir up our faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stir up that faith. Hallelujah. Stir up that faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because once you doubt, hallelujah, fear takes over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once you doubt God, hallelujah, hallelujah, fear wins out. See, listen, faith and fear cannot operate in the same space. Oh, God help me right here. Mm, if faith is present, then fear has to go. Hallelujah. 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 If fear is present, then faith cannot operate in that space. So look here, family. So the one that you invite into your house is the one that will live there. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you miss that. The one that you give the key. Hallelujah is the one that will enter. And if you don't want fear to enter your house where he has no right, he has no authority to be there, just kick him out. Kick him out. And how do you kick him out? How do you kick the devil out? Use the power that God has given you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. Paul said God has not given us a spirit of fear. Hallelujah. But he gave us power. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I got power. Oh, shout it again. I got power. Oh, yes. And what God is saying to us now, family, that we have to use the power that God has given us. Use the authority that God has given us. Daddy was speaking it this morning. Hallelujah. The power of life and death is in your mouth. It's in your tongue. Stir it up. Speak up and tell the devil, get out of my house. Get out of my family. Get out of my children. Get out of my body. Get out of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This enemy is trying to destroy us. The enemy is trying to destroy you and cause you to doubt God. Hallelujah. Oh, let me show you one more scripture. I wasn't going to show you this, but Job 25 Years ago when God showed me this, I want to tell you the power of fear. Why you cannot allow fear to come into your heart and dominate your life. This is what happens. Job said it clearly here. Watch this. This is powerful. What Job said. Job said, for the thing that I greatly feared has come upon me. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And what I dreaded has happened to me. Oh, see, when you when you fear so strongly in something, what you have done is you have put faith in that thing. Hallelujah. You have actually put faith in the fact that the thing that you're fearing, you have so much faith in what you're fearing. Fear is inverted faith. That's what it is. It's inverted faith. Somebody said it's false evidence appearing real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear is putting faith in the thing that you fear. And God is saying today, stir up the power that you have. I didn't give you the spirit of fear. Don't believe that the worst thing will happen. Believe in what God said. God said, I'll never leave you. Hallelujah. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Oh, I like the way David said it in Psalm 27. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He said, the Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Oh, I love the way the psalmist said it in Psalm 91. I started out this pandemic in Psalm 91, and I'm going to stay right there in Psalm 91. Hallelujah. He said, I will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. 
He said, I will not be afraid of the pestilences that walks in the darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And listen, God told us that in the last days, pestilences will come. Hallelujah. God told us that in his word. He said, in the last days, you will see pestilences in the land. Do you know that's what pestilence is? Pestilence is a fatal epidemic disease. That's pestilence. Hallelujah. Do you see now we are living in the last days? And God is saying, I told you this was coming. Don't fear it. Don't worry about it. Just stand on the word of God. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 may fall at your right hand. But the word of God says it will not come near you. I am prophetically declaring this morning that that coronavirus, it will not come near you. I need you to declare with me. I will not fear. Come on and declare it again. I will. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. See, the reason you don't have to fear is because God has given us power and love. <laughs> I like that, mommy. Yeah, you got two angels that's following you everywhere you go. You got power and love. Hallelujah. David called them goodness and mercy. Hallelujah. Paul called them power and love. Hallelujah. You got power and love. That means you got God. And when you got God, you got all the powers of heaven and earth backing you up. Man, you got power to fight the good fight. You got power to endure to the end. You got power to stand. And when you've done all the stand, you can stand some more. You got power to go where you want to go. He'll bless your going out. He'll bless your coming in. You got power. Somebody shout, I got power. I got power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got power and love. Hallelujah. When you got love, you got the greatest power. Oh, somebody say, I just thank God for love this morning. When you got love, you got the greatest power. There is no power greater than our God. El Shaddai, he is God, the all-powerful one. When you got God, you got everything that you need. Oh, God didn't give us the spirit of fear. He gave us power. He gave us love. Hallelujah. And I like this family. I'm going to close. He gave us a sound mind. Oh, can you just put your hand together right there and thank God that you're in your right mind this morning. Hallelujah. You got a sound mind. That word in the Greek means you have the ability to make good decisions. You have the ability to use good judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And family, God is testing us now. Hallelujah. Yes. And we have to use, stir up our gift of faith that God has given us. Hallelujah. And receive his power, walk in his power, walk in his love, and exercise good judgment. Oh, yes. We, we, we thank God for our, our governmental leadership. Hallelujah. But, but there is one master that we follow. Hallelujah. And his name is Jayabi. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for our governor and our mayor. Hallelujah. But there is one person that we follow, and that's God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to be still. Yes, we are family. We preparing to come back together real soon. Hallelujah. But we're going to be still and hear the voice of God. We're going to use sound judgment. Hallelujah. We're going to use the wisdom of God. We're going to call on our God for wisdom to make good decisions. But in the middle of all of that, I will not fear. Hallelujah. When you follow God. Hallelujah. When you trust God. Hallelujah. God will see you through. Say amen to that. Yes, he will. God didn't give us a spirit of fear. Hallelujah. But he gave us power. He gave us love. And he 
gave us a sound mind. Pray with me, Father. We just bless you right here. We bless you, Lord, for reminding us that we don't have to fear. We don't have to worry. Hallelujah. We don't have to take no thought for tomorrow. We just have to operate in wisdom and follow your guidance and your direction. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for keeping us. Hallelujah. We thank you for stirring up that gift of faith that you put inside of us. That was in our mama. Hallelujah. That same faith that was in grandmama now. Oh, yes, God. And you're stirring it up in your children right now, God. You, we're being tested, God. You're testing us to see if we're going to be faithful to your word and trust you. And don't let our fear outweigh our faith. Father, we thank you for not giving us the spirit of fear, but blessing us to stand strong in your word. Father, we don't know how long this thing will run, this shutdown, this pandemic, this epidemic, this coronavirus. Hallelujah. The word would have us to believe that there's going to be more outbreaks now that people are being reopened. This, the states are being reopened. But God, whatever happens, I will not fear. But I'm going to trust you. I'm going to believe in your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe you, maybe you don't trust God like that. Maybe you never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. I want to give you a chance to do that today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is speaking to your heart right now. Let's pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Father, I'm a sinner. And I want to be saved today. Hallelujah. I believe, God, that you raised Jesus from the dead. I believe that you can save me. Come into my heart. Live in my heart. Direct my life. I will follow you till the end. Hallelujah. If you prayed that prayer, God will honor that prayer. You say right there where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you no longer have to fear. You don't have to worry about what's happening here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're in the world, but we're not of this world. Oh, yes. We got another building. We got another place. We want to thank God. Hallelujah for you joining in with us today. Thank God for our family that's here with us. One of our leaders, Deacon Joy Wright, is here. We're going to ask him to come and close us in prayer this morning. We're so grateful that he came to join with us. We're going to ask him to come and join us in prayer. God bless you, family. Hang on in there. Hold on. Hallelujah. It's going to be all right. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. 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 Then, oh Lord, we just ask that you just cover us, oh Heavenly Father, as we go through this. Cover us from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet like only you can. And we just ask that Holy Spirit have your way. Holy Spirit, our counselor, Hallelujah. our comforter, our strengthener, our worshiper and our God, we just ask that you take care of us as we go out into this land. It's in Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Praise God, family. Man, we are so delighted 
that you join with us today. Listen, it is our prayer that you were blessed by the Word of God and by the worship experience here at Friendship Baptist Church. We're going to be praying for you this week. Keep us in prayer, and may God continue to bless you. Thank you for tuning in.